years, I've created thousands of hours of richly informative shows. Martha, no! I wondered, what could we do with all of these tapes? So, Martha, any people breathing? Ah! The very best solution... Throw it into the dump. ...was to give these tapes to my daughter, Alexis. Ah! Don't ever do that again. And her friend, Jennifer. I'm used to dealing with people like you. To see what they can come up with. Ooh. <laughs> Do you think your mom's gonna be mad at us? I hope so. <laughs> Christmas gingerbread houses, right? Yeah, that's what we're gonna watch right now. As opposed to what? Easter gingerbread houses? Uh -huh, or Passover. Passover gingerbread houses. Sure, or Hanukkah. Hanukkah houses. Hanukkah houses. Hanukkah houses. No, the Jews don't work in gingerbread. They it's don't? It's not their medium. Well, we had to make some gingerbread houses when I was growing up. Was it fun? No. It wasn't? No, because it wasn't a little gingerbread house. Oh. It was a gingerbread house where the side is this wide. See, I think that's neat because... It's neat. Yeah. Except if you're in the house listening to the screaming when it breaks. Oh, getting in trouble and yeah. stuff. I tried to do as little as possible. Oh. Let's see what Martha does with it. I know I'm a frustrated architect because every single Christmas I decide to make another gingerbread house. These are really kind of complicated to She envision, puts the wreaths so all around so the windows like that? So much decoration. Really? A Christmas tree in every room. At least once a year, I think, a Christmas tree was taken down by the cats. <laughs> <laughs> I came up with this Savannah, Georgia, little Second Empire house. See? She's going to make a Savannah, Georgia, giant, beautiful, ornate empire house? She's making the most complicated one she can find and uh, won't be too complex hmm. in terms of the exterior architecture. I've made a little sketch. Doesn't look quite like the real thing. No, nope. but <laughs> it's uh, a terrible it's sketch, Martha. And Martha draws well. I think she's trying to make everyone feel comfortable. So I'll need four sides. Four sides? Thanks, Once. Martha. Right, because there are so many houses that have three sides. So I've measured a house, I think it's 13 inches by 18 inches. See how nicely it fits right on the pan. So this is the front. That was magical that she cut out all the stencils so quickly. Yeah, that would take a long time, actually. Yeah. Spray your pan with one of the nice baking sprays that are available. She's going crazy with the grease. This will prevent the gingerbread from sticking. Because oh, that looked like slab of meat. It looks like liver. Yeah. So roll lightly in one direction. It's going to take forever if you roll that lightly. You want to keep this very even. Another great feature of this. Wow, that was quick. That was quick. That took four hours of I'm that. The to gentle make it so rolling. Perfect. I think there was a swap out. Place your house front on the dough and cut. Once it's all cut out, remove your paper. She's done cutting that quickly? Just like that. Sure. It's already been six hours, I think. It's been baked. It's now cooled. Using some royal icing, which is a mixture of confectioner's sugar and egg white. I want this foundation to look like it was made out of big, irregular stones, as the original was. Didn't she say she was going to make this very simple? She did. I think simple is using some gumdrops. I mean, gumdrops could, are fun, but slightly unsightly. But simple. Simple. So take care with the front door. Now you have you to... Wow! To stop. <laughs> How'd she do that so quickly? Here's part of the mansard roof of the mansion. I'm copper leafing this roof. It's a very beautiful effect. It and delicious. So what happens if you eat it? You die. I'm brushing the parts of the mansard roof with a little bit of softly broken egg white. On top of this, I will place my copper leaf. So you use egg white to seal it. To gr why but not just use glue? Just use glue. You're not eating the copper roof anyway. Now we're ready. After breaking off the edges of the leaf, we're ready to decorate. Uh, this, see, this is no longer a gingerbread house. I think this gingerbread house is displayed with little ropes around it so it you is. can't go near. Squiggle a lot of icing on the biggest parts of the caramel. This is your glue. Here's our whole facade with its windows. I'm expecting two little friends to come over to help me assemble the house. You need more than one set of hands to do it. 
<laughs> she held that pose for quite a while. What pose? Look at how high her jeans are. That was the style. I've really, in the last few years, used up all my family members. They last about a year or two in the assembling process. And and then they go bad and have to be disposed of. <laughs> Hold this right next to the side. Now, see, I'm going to squeeze this. Oops. <laughs> what, what happened? I don't know. I think we had a broken window or the icing farted. Because we know Martha didn't fart. <laughs> no. Definitely not. Now, to make it perfectly secure, I'm going to use some very small little pins. Oh, right. Oh, so now they're pins. We like take the, those okay. out before you eat, eat it. them. Yeah, kids, don't eat the pins, nor the copper roof. See? It is now standing. Now the stairway. Aren't those kind of cute stairs? Yes. So just apply a little more glue. And now we What's that made out of? Oreo. That's in your dreams, it's Oreo. Or next to the last thing is the landscaping. Landscaping. She's decorating. Fresh for the holidays, arranged here. Now, how are you supposed to get up the steps with all that greenery in your way? Now you go home and show your mom what you learned and make your own gingerbread house, OK? All right. Thanks a lot. See you next, next week at the party. Get out, kids. Go away. Done. Go. Don't trip when you're carrying the gingerbread house. But what if I do trip? Just don't. Yeah. <laughs> it was not a kid-friendly no. gingerbread house. No, that's it not. Was... Martha is not about kid-friendly. Oh. It's not, it has nothing to do with kid-friendly. It's friendly. just all about being beautiful. Yes. And would she have freaked out if someone actually pulled it apart to eat it? Totally. You never ate it. Plus, I think but she made them so far in advance. That you couldn't eat it. Yeah. We, and, with that... <laughs> and with that copper top. Well. Yeah. Well. <sighs> Just, you know what? Just give out a big bag of candy. Then? Then. No, wait, she said to cut. She said. She said, like I've listened to anything she said so far to do this today. <laughs> We're making party hats and party favors. I love a good party favor. Party favor hats. Party. Oh, they're actually Which the hats. Hat... Party favors? Oh. Oh, party so it's a hat hats. that holds the party favor. You think? I do. But and I love a good party for? favor. The candy. Oh. The just candy in the, the bag. Candy in a bag and make the hat. Let's just watch. There you go. You're oh, right. I was right. Halloween is fast becoming one of the most popular holidays of the year. It's always it's been. It's fast becoming one of the most popular holidays? Think of this year we've created this very cute little Halloween party favor. You'll need some black paper. And I have a compass. I don't know how to use these. You poke the point of the compass in. So the little circle is one and a half inches, like a cone. I'm doing oh, I a think compass. that's not. I don't know how to use a compass. <laughs> I need an eraser. What's was your setup? I'm Can not great with a compass. No. Can you tell me the setting? And the big circle is six inches. Here we go. It's handy to have different size scissors around your craft closet or your craft. I'm just going to arrange the candy. Have all these. I'm not going to make a bad circle. I'm not doing a very good job. It's handy to have different size scissors around your craft closet or your craft drawer. Should really have all these different tools. We were never allowed to have any of this stuff in the house. Wait, this wait, is wait, ridiculous. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. You. Place the point of the compass at the corner of the paper right here, and draw yourself a circle that is five and a half inches high. This is a disaster. Stay. Uh-oh. <laughs> I can't use a compass well. So here we have our cone. And this is going to fit over our rim like that. Now you have to punch some holes. These are tough hats to make. There must be an easier way. You have these nice cellophane bags, and you fill this with approximately one and a half cups of candy corn. These little black licorice pieces, paste them in the bag so that they look like the witch's eyes. Why well, need twine for my witch's hat? Jennifer. Mine's a, a developmentally challenged witch. The witch's eyes. Place your rim down over the bag and draw your twine up through those two little holes. Oh, the twine is all attached. I ruined it. What? And, and then the Look, the twine that ties the bag. Yeah, and you pull it up to there, like through. this. Yeah, of course. 
Of course. <laughs> Duh. And now put your peak of your hat right here. I'm gonna make a hat, here we go. You're making your own version of a hat, though well, it's not her hat. I can't help it, I, her instructions were too confusing. Oh, 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 look, I can make a con. Hold on, I need to make the brims. And then tie this little tie on the front of the hat. That's a great hat. How are you doing over there? What? The peak of your hat. <laughs> I'm developing something, not sure what. Are you? <laughs> Hold on, I'm almost done. You know what? Pain in the ass. Easier. You're a hat. There, I almost did it. We'll tie. You know what you did? A dunce tap. Dunce. And here you have our little chicken corn witch face. Chicken corn? Chicken corn? Chicken corn. Chicken corn. Watch. You're gonna freak out. What are you gonna do? You'll see. <laughs> Shouldn't it be a little smaller than the cone than the cone? You'll see. It's always so frantic with you. I'm gonna get it done. Just, you know what, Shh. just give out a big bag of candy. Then? Then. No, wait, she said to cut on top. She said, she said, like I've listened to anything she said so far to do this today. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna work. You can't exactly lift it from the top. That's almost okay. It's not very sturdy. Does it have to oh be? Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna take. Tell me. <laughs> just let me. Thank it. you. <laughs> oh, Martha, she looks like the Michelin tire person <laughs> in a blue variety. It's not very slimming. It's not very figure friendly. Beep. Sandblasting with Mr. Cooper. I can't tell you how many loads of furniture I had to take to Mr. Cooper's. Really? To get sandblasted and spray painted. Many loads. Many. Well, you need a place to dump your loads. <laughs> <laughs> well, he uh, would sandblast and then spray paint the lawn furniture. Cool. Let's and, see how it's done. You know, Martha's yeah. constantly buying antique lawn. Oh, yeah, which needs a whole resurfacing. Yeah. Ben Krupinski. Oh, gosh. Builder, He's in a uniform. She's in a uniform. He said he was the only man to sandblast my chimneys. Oh, boy. The brick wall He's the only chimney. man to sandblast her and chimney. Sandblasting. Yeah. And uh, he's going to show me how he does this. Oh, Martha, she looks like the Michelin tire person <laughs> in a blue variety. It's not very slimming. It's not very figure friendly. We'll crank the machine up, and I'll get some air coming out to here, and then we'll go for it. OK, I'm going to show what's wrong with these chairs in the meantime. OK, her favorite thing is to point out what's wrong. Always. When you go to a tag sale or a junk shop or an antique show, even though the paint is... She's at the edge of a landfill and she's just so happy to be there. <laughs> she really loved gets her going. Mr. Cooper. Yeah. She drops everything off and then and it comes back beautiful. perfectly. Yeah. Except if the idiot stupid daughter chips it in the truck on the way home. Now, would you be that stupid daughter? Have to look at it carefully. Most of this stuff can be just sandblasted off and repainted this furniture. Uh, Martha's never without earrings, ever. Well, she has to look like a girl. On a is that the giveaway? The yes. Pool. And it doesn't have nah, to the pose is the giveaway. In this terrible, corroded shape. Um, I've had a lot of pieces done here at Cooper's Sandblasting. And plug. Uh, yeah. That was a plug. I heard it. I've had a lot of work done here at Cooper Sandblasting. I have my chimney sandblasted, sandblasted often, regularly. At least twice a year. You have to have a large enough air compressor to move the air through the hoses. So Is that, she uh, now a beekeeper? The, she would never do this because just because of the outfit. How do you even know it's her? This could be a superimposed other person altogether. Can't see her anywhere in there. <laughs> right. Uh, the velocity of the air is about 500. The velocity. Miles. Now we're getting a science lecture. Well, you use it's coming out at 250 cubic foot of air per minute. That's just too much information. It is. The paint. It's like microdermabrasion. I'd like one of those machines just to get rid of all the spots and unsightlies on my body. That would kill just about anything, you think, right? That's right. You've got to put two coats. Is that really Martha crouched yeah. like that? <laughs> it's hard to tell. That jumpsuit <laughs> that really is a good anyone. disguise. And then I can put my first coat of finish on that day.
The material that I use for the sandblasting is called, it's a coal slab.